Hey there guys, it's Delta 49 here with what's new in Minecraft Snapshot 13W43A. Now the first thing is that they improved the Minecraft Realm support. There is now a Force Unicode font option in the language settings. They have added a new command and that is the slash set world spawn command. And this is used by entering the X, Y, and Z coordinates like so. Uh, so let's say my X coordinate is 20 and my Y coordinate will be 50 and my Z coordinate will be 100. If I want to set that spawn, uh, you'll do it like so. So it is X, Y, and Z. Maps in item frames now actually show the item frame again uh, in the back here. They do still take up the full block like they uh, made the change a few snapshots ago. Next, jukeboxes now loop the song that you have in. The texture for pufferfish has been slightly altered here uh, and in my hand right here. They added two new types of saplings. That is the roofed oak sapling here and the Acadia sapling here. The roofed oak tree, or the oak roofed tree, uh, different names and different sources, but uh, this is the roofed oak tree and it has oak leaves and the spruce looking uh, logs right here. And the Acadia tree has oak leaves and jungle looking uh, wood logs here, uh, but actually the Acadia is more red than the jungle tree. It's definitely hard to tell when it's just sitting here, uh, but if you actually look at them side by side, it is a little bit easier to tell. Now both of those can be crafted into oak wood planks, as you can see here, and then over here, oak wood planks. Uh, there's no special type of plank for them just yet, both of the saplings can be planted in flower pots like all the other saplings. And also, to make a roof oak tree, you want to put four saplings down and it will grow like that, sort of like a jungle tree or one of those massive jungle trees that they already have implemented into the game. Now, going over here, uh, this is a bit difficult to tell uh, because it's very difficult to actually get a mob to go into the cauldrons but now cauldrons with water will extinguish burning entities uh, so here i'm sure he will not actually step in to the water uh, but if he were to he would be extinguished i mean as you can see i can barely step into it there you go i was lucky enough to get into that uh, but you do have to kind of stop in your place which is something that mobs don't usually do uh, but if they happen to stop in their place uh, then you will be able to uh, get them to extinguish themselves, the fire and all that. Uh, but yeah, so uh, there are a bunch of bug fixes. I will leave a link to uh, the Reddit post and also uh, the Mojang post there so you can read the rest of that. And uh, of course, if you did find this helpful, a like and a favorite would be greatly appreciated. If you're not already, make sure you follow me on Twitter, like the Facebook fan page, and follow me on Google+. And if you're new to the channel and you do enjoy daily gaming tutorials and reviews, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching.